Hey Rita, Sweets, Growing Pains, Genobia. Thank you, Eric's. Can y'all hear me very well? Hey, Angie. Yeah, hello, everybody. It's hello, everybody. It's hello, everyone. What it do, true booty? Happy birthday, poo poo. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your B day. What am I sipping on tonight? Thank you, I did enjoy it. Mm. I got you a goodie bag, pumpkin. I should have put a little lip gloss on one. Hey, Jamila. Hey, Melisandre. I ain't had no more good reading. I'm ready for the line. <laughs> I don't know, girl. You may not be ready for this one, boo. What's up, CJ? Annette, Tiffany. Yeah, I'm not going to hold y'all on here too long. I kind of just wanted to. Hey, Miss P. Thank you, Genobia. Wiz Texas is in here. What's up, Sharon? It's so sweet. It's so sweet. Yeah, um... I just wanted to kind of touch ground with y'all on some stuff, y'all. From Florida. All right, Florida is in the house. Hey, Tina. Love the brace. Thank you. Thank you. Love your hair, boo. How you doing? You know what? <clears throat> to be honest, I'm I really been chilling. You know. Um, trying to get some things done at the house. Dallas in the house. Most definitely, Tina. Yeah. It's Click Click. Click Click is good. He is. And he see how. We are, girl. I've been hearing about so much stuff with this virus and with the rioting. And, um, I think if y'all watch, uh, Miss Niecy on Instagram, she was just saying how, one of her friends had uh finally went outside. Louisiana's in the house, most definitely Angie. Love this shirt you had on today. Oh, that was yesterday. I got my sundress on today, y'all. But um, Miss Niecy was just kind. Of, hey, cosmetic genie. She was just saying um how you know I guess one of her friends. Had um they had all been on quarantine real tough like and um as soon as he got a chance when they start opening stuff back up he had um went out and hung out with some close friends and I guess they were smoking weed and um he ended up catching um the corona and he died you know it wasn't even a week he died and you know he left the virus with his wife and his kids. And the boys that they was over there smoking with was infected, too. And I'm just hearing about all this rioting and people still dying. Exactly. And I want to give a moment of silence, too, for um, Mystery Van. I know he said he lost his brother. 
So, you know, I just, I want to send my condolences, my heart, my prayer with him and his family. Um, people don't know what people have going on in their life. And it's like, it's so much that we could be focused on instead of other people. And the negativity is so draining, y'all. It's so draining, okay? I, I I don't get it. I really don't. And I'm going to tell y'all, that's why I made this video, okay? I am so tired of this shit. Very draining. Who got time? You know what I'm saying? Who, who actually really got time for this shit? But it's funny because I was saying yesterday that I was going to speak on some things. And then I'm in there with my kids watching YouTube. And then I see this girl speaking on uh, CJ So Cool, you know? And I didn't know that they did that. But I tell uh, Ken and KT, yeah, they do that kind of shit, you know. Um, you have reactors in different, um, you know, sectors. And it's okay. You know, when you, this is the thing. When you put your life on social media, you need to know that everybody not going to like you. Everybody not going to be your friend. Everybody not going to curl for you, you know. But I just feel that. For the most part, how sick and twisted can people get? I mean, it's like, girl, my kids are y'all know I don't I don't give everybody my energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to my family, I take certain things personal, but it doesn't if I don't see it, it does not exist. And I try to keep away from the negativity, but the shit that's been coming to me, like, what the fuck? Who has time for it? Y'all, if y'all could only hear some of the crappy, annoying shit that I've been hearing, I know that I had posted my grandbaby on um my Instagram, KT Daughter. Mm. He said, Mama, please take my baby down. And I'm like, why? You know? He said, because people get her picture and put it on their thing. And they say all kind of rude things. I'm like, boy, you know, who? Don't nobody care about nobody. What grown-ass person would get a newborn baby picture and post it on a site and call the baby ugly? You know, it's like my granddaughter is very beautiful. My grandson is very handsome. Why the hell would I give a damn about that kind of shit? You know, just all kind of foul shit about Khalil looking more like KT and is that KT babe? It's like, the fuck? You know, who has that type of time? Who my husband and me the same. I only see it. I mean, for real, like, you got grown ass people. They don't show their face, they don't say their names, but they go back and they put all of these. What the hell? Where do they do that at? You know, he touched on his mama breast. Like, what, what kind of shit is this that we do? It's like, that's some sick ass shit. And I don't, like I said, I don't entertain it, but I'm trying to get my kids on their page where, you know what? If you give them that energy, and I don't know how they're going to get the energy out for them after they put themselves in this situation. I don't want the energy on me. You know what I'm saying? I thank you guys and appreciate you guys for not sharing with me that sick and twisted ass shit. Because I don't want to know that. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? They are miserable. Miserable is not the word. You know, y'all know on uh, Christmas when me and KT was at mama house, he liked to get his knuckles and do me like this. You know what I'm saying? We do it to each other. It's just something that we do. It's like playing too much or like neck or whatever, like, uh, you know, type shit. But you got people who are turning shit into really sick. I'm not, I, I ain't finna start watching what I'm doing. I, I know you fucking not. I'm not going to watch. Can you say mom out have went off the people call my baby dirty? When, when was your baby dirty? That shit. If, yeah, it's something that like, if you a YouTuber, if you are a part of social media, period, how do you stay away from that negative energy? Just to me, if you give somebody your energy, you're giving them power over your life. You're giving them control over your life. You know, 
Um, my son asked me, does it make me want to not do YouTube? No. Right now, YouTube is not my job, you guys. This is something that I enjoy, you know. And I'm going to have to do something different, especially when it comes down to my modding. So, if you are a modded, no um, offense to anybody. But I don't know the people, like, who I'm trusting, you know, on my channel to be there for me. And then they go back and do sick shit. I don't understand why I can't see Yanni. You know, um, I don't under like I went on Tasha's. I don't understand why I couldn't see myself. It's just it's a lot. You know, how about hey, let's go check out the live, let's enjoy the show, and let's have a good day. Why why is this so serious? Why are people kids are off limits, period? You know what? And not if like if you have a life and you have a miserable life, misery love company. You know, why not? That's just like people who get on the lives and um, big booty, ugly, booger, pee pee, just rude, dumb, childish shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if these people are from Mars. I don't know if these people are the Ku Klux Klan's. I don't know who people are, but I know that they was raised by wolves. And for people to just, if my kids are not camera ready, they're not getting on the camera, period. If my grandson is not camera ready, he's not getting on this, this niecey world. See, it's about me. That's all. It should be, but that's honestly why I'm not on YouTube. Because you get tired of, you know what? Like I said, if if I don't see it, it don't exist. And who are you going to give your energy to? We are in control of our emotions. Do you understand? It's like, you still, I'm still at the point in my life where... I'm trying to find out how to control certain things like um, emotions. Um, have you guys ever got angry about some shit that you just didn't want to be mad about? And after you got over it, you was thinking that, oh, I don't want to be angry. I didn't want that energy. That's why I wear these. If y'all don't know, that's why I wear these right here. They supposed to protect you from that. And to me, I feel... That they, they do a pretty good job. And if it's only in my mind, then it's working. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like being happy. Okay? Um, I love my family. Um, to me, when people talk about you, it only means that you have growth. You know? I don't care if it's good or bad. You know, somebody thinking about my ass. You hear me? I, hey, y'all, I lost 15 pounds. Ooh. Shit like that. Like, if I'm staying focused on me, I don't have time to think about people that don't like me. You know, even with Jamila, she did a video, too, saying somebody, um, oh, my God. It's just like, y'all, are we not grown? Why do people do this? Why do people take time to try to make others miserable? Is it because they're miserable? Is it because they don't know any better? Is it because they want to be heard? Was that the way that was raised? You have to remember some people live negative. Um, hey, Melisandre. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why they do it. I mean, have anybody ever thought about all the negative energy that you're putting towards somebody else's life, you could be doing something positive with your own. They want our lives. We are so happy and blessed. You hear me? I wish I could talk to you one-on-one -on -one and get some advice from you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That. You hear me? Encouragement. That's what we got this live for. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, we can encourage each other as women. You know, what's what's wrong with being there for each other and want to see each other grow? Why everything always got to be so fucking bitter? Why everybody's so angry? Do y'all know that people are dying every day? Every day, somebody is dying. We can't go outside. You know, um, my kids want to go get in the pool. I don't want them to. I'm scared. It's like I'm over here worried about living. Am I going to heaven or hell? 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be a better person. I try to grow and be a better person each and every day. And people ain't going to stop talking. You hear me? People are going to talk. I don't give a damn if I came on here tomorrow and say, hey, y'all. I'm going to be a saved Christian woman, and I'm going to share my lifestyle with you guys. Do y'all know how fast everything going to drop down and how, more, how much people going to talk? So, girl, if people going to talk, and regardless of whether you're doing good or bad, why not do good? You know, and everybody who um, was on Nisi World, True, Roxanne, everybody who gave those super chats, just know that I always say this. Don't nobody owe nobody anything. And I appreciate any and everything that anybody has done for me. If I have offended anybody and did not know it, hey, you know what? I apologize. You know, I'm just Nisi. I am imperfect. But for the most part, I have good intentions. And I'm trying to get my kids to learn. My, uh, get off of YouTube. Because somebody talking about me, I know you fucking lying. Then that, that means that they control me. Ain't nobody paying my bills. These people ain't never been in my house. Need a little more love in this world. Yes, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Baby, when you dead and gone, you still gonna have bills. When you dead and gone, people still gonna talk about you. Do y'all notice that? I don't know if y'all notice this, but can we take a minute to appreciate Missy World? And Melisandre went, aww, thank you. That was sweet, y'all. Means we love company. Have y'all noticed that some people not even hardly talked about until they did and gone? I never heard of that guy Triple X. And then after he was dead, I heard so much of his music. Sha was saying that when uh, Biggie Smalls was here, that he didn't really like him too much because of the East Coast, West Coast thing. But it was after he died that he realized how good of an artist he is. And I don't want to think it's just us as women. Do, do we hate each other because somebody is pretty? Because somebody is lighter? Since somebody is darker? Just in case y'all don't know, I made sure that I let you guys know. I saw Melisandre her. And I IG'd her to say, you rocking that shit. You look very beautiful. I hope you get some nice ass hats. You know, it's like, damn. Why do people want to tear each other down? Why? Why not? Do you know the first... That, that's why true affirmation. That's why it's important to me. Because I done been feeling some type of way a lot of days. And that affirmation made me feel better. You know what I'm saying? I said I was going to start doing poems. You know how I get on here and I'm, I'm rapping and I'm cussing I'm turning up. I, I don't live life like that every day. Okay? So... Um, I'm not always drinking, um, cussing, rapping. I have a, a whole nother side of me that's a God-fearing person, that's a spiritual person, you know, that likes to pray, that, um, likes to fast, you know, like, I'm just far from being perfect. I'm just wondering, what well, what is it with the, what do people get out of that shit? And it's sick. It's actually really sick, you know? Who can even just sit back and watch that shit? Who would want to even want to read it? I told my kids, that's what you get for taking your ass over there. You hear me? So now I'm at the point where um, I understand why KT don't want his baby on social media. I understand. I was so pissed off at him. I was like, who give a damn? But maybe that is hurtful for somebody to get a two-month-old baby, get a picture and say she ugly, and she this is like, I I'm going to hell. Who's coming with me? Because I know this is not right. Well, why are you doing it, bitch? If you know that's not okay, why are you doing it? Because I know you're not getting paid. You know, and it's like, it it's not going to stop. But it's kind of like, ain't that defamation? It's easy to point the finger at someone else instead of yourself. I just think these some miserable motherfuckers. At the end of the day, any bitch that just sit back, I mean, and that's that's even different from being a reactor. You know, it's just like, it's way stupid. And I was thinking, man, Nisi, maybe you should do some reactions. You know, because it's people out here doing good shit. 
You know, it's people out here who's prospering. It's people out here who's growing. AC Women of Sunday Kid, the DMX Challenge. Alice. Thank you so much, sweetheart. And the Sunday and AC on my face. Yeah, home and That's so sweet, isn't it? Yeah, that right there. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, what's wrong with what's wrong with congratulations? Oh, you did that. Oh, that's good. Why everything gotta be so fucking draining? You hear me? Why? What is that about? Yeah, won't catch me talking down on anyone. I don't have time. Girl, you know what? I'm trying to make time to start back reading. I like reading. Yeah. I'm into uh, vampire sci-fi shit. I like interesting shit like that. Have y'all been watching the um, Black Mirror? I don't know if um, y'all... Hey, Bryn. Give Khalil his passy. Matter of fact, bring him here. Bring me Khalil. I wish I would stop um, putting... Yeah, the Black Mirror. Girl. It's like an updated Twilight Zone. Kawee wee. Bring me my baby. Yeah, it's like an updated Twilight Zone, y'all. And it's like um like little shorts. And they so interesting. I'm so stuck on it. I can't do it. No niggas. True. And, and to get that shit off. To get it off. How do they get it off? Like, now you told me. Now you. Oh, you remember you were saying that, true, in a car. When that lady was going through that. And why can't women especially not be able to be happy for one another? We got to teach them how. We got to teach them how, Tina. I would like to start a YouTube channel, but I don't know if I can handle the negativity. It, Miss Smith, it don't have to exist if you don't want it to. You know who you are as long as you are true to yourself because... People gonna talk, baby. They still be talking about Jesus. Some people don't even like him and don't believe in him and don't even think you're supposed to praise him. When we know only through the sun shall we get to the Father. You hear me? We all raised differently. Some people think different. Not to even get into that. But, yeah, it's like, it's going to be there. It's not going nowhere. If you're going to do YouTube, baby, do YouTube. And if that's something that you enjoy, you know, if that's something that you want to look at as a business, why not? Why not? It only lets you know that you're doing something. If people talking about you, then you maneuvering, honey. Because when you didn't have them talking, hey, sister. My sisters. Um, is Khalil still? Hey. I, we were just talking about the negative stuff I was telling you but that the kids were saying. But, yeah, we got to start putting some positivity in this thing. She was saying, I don't got time for that. You know what? You was enjoying your birthday. If you don't know no negative, then you can't act on negative. Who you are is always going to show. Do you understand that? You can't hide who you are. Like the young girls who get those boys and be like, I'm 21. And then her body might look 21, but he's really going to realize later. Girl, you 16. Who you are will always show in the end. Hey, Shantae. What's going on, Miss Danish? Yeah, who you always going to always show in the end. Hey, Shay the Mama. The Mommy. Yeah, I was um watching uh The Proud Mama 12. Hmm. I don't know. It's like right after I watched her video, I seen a lot of reactions to her. What about um these women, these strong women who's having all these kids and providing meals? Providing shelter. What What about us? What about the women who, you know, have to work hard to do it, you know, by themselves? Or what about the women who have husbands but still have it hard? Like, life is hard enough without nobody trying to drag you through the mud. You hear me? Because there are some women who don't take care of their kids. There are some women who don't want to take care of their kids. There are people losing their kids to the system every day. But then you got people out here that's doing whatever by all means necessary, and they get drugged. Why? Why? And it ain't no black woman, white woman thing. You hear me? It's a people thing. Because I guarantee you ain't no men doing it. Men stick together. 
They do. Men stick together. That's why they asses don't be on her. And it's crazy. Don't have negative around me. I know that's right. You hear me? I, but I'm still trying to teach. I told my kids, when you stop learning, you stop growing. Yeah. We should inspire and motivate each other to be the best that we can be. I get on her because I enjoy our company. I get on her because it makes me feel good. Do y'all know when I started YouTube, I made a bubble. I made a bubble around myself. You hear me? I... I enjoy this. I'm okay with quarantine. I'm okay with not being over her house, over her house, over her. I'm okay with being to myself. That way I don't have to be around nothing that's foolish, immature, or childish. We need to stick together. There is too much hate. Baby, do you hear me? Right now. The best time. Bring me Khalil. Hey, motivational sister. Hello, Lions Den. Yes, to y'all grandmothers, to y'all grandmothers to be. You know, I just want to tell y'all to keep y'all heads up. You know. Um, I know that's right, Genobia. Yeah, sometimes you just got to separate yourself from the negativity. You hear me? That's why my mama be saying, girl, I don't want to hear that. Oh, baby, I don't want to know. Get, get other people energy off of you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that shit can be hard when you take, that's why I stopped working, want to work in the hospitals. Because that shit drain you. Let me go get my grandbaby out. Hold on, because he not going to stop. What's around, Gabby? What's around with it, Gam Gam? Oh. Talipi for reals, y'all. Yeah, hold on. First of all, did anybody check? Yeah. You know. Because somebody said every time he get on here, he dirty, honey. That's just crazy. Hey. hey. Y'all, my sister got a haircut. Yeah. It's not broke. Yeah. It's not. It got a big hole ripped in on the side and he can crawl straight out of it. Who did that? It's snagged on to something. It was little at first. And then I don't know what happened or if he did it or trying to get out, but the hole got real big. And we was already propping stuff on it to get it up, but we also yeah, had to gotta, do that today. That's what we seen it on YouTube. Hey, somebody did something foolish and broke it. Hello. But they snagged it. They snagged off. That's the one that he was using at first. Yeah, he was using that one every day. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Kim got a hurt because she freeing herself. She went and rock star, rocking her natural. Kim. Kimberly. I'm sorry. He is adorable. Thank you. He's gotten so big. Girl, yeah. He be hanging out with me while Kenya is at work. And baby, he was finna get ready and go. I was like, leave my baby here. Because I be missing him. And then when I don't be seeing him for a couple of weeks, then when he see me, he be turning around and stuff. You okay? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, when I don't see him for a couple of weeks, it make me feel bad when he be doing like this. Like, hey. <laughs> I hate when he do that, y'all. My baby gonna be shy. Hey, pink butterfly. I just don't get who. What what kind of girl, what kind of love do you got in your heart for yourself when you can sit up and just diss babies and call them ugly? I think the whoever does that, I think they ugly inside and out. Girl, nobody can't control how they look. 
after your mama spit you out, then baby, you got to deal with just the rest. You hear me saying, hey? Special story. Can't wait for my grandson. I know that's right. I know that's right. It's like after you, when you look at what you got and you look at your life, everything that everybody say, it shouldn't even matter. And I think I'm just going to have a family meeting with my kids. He's so cute. Thank you. Girl, yeah. If I did bring my grandson on here and he had anything on him, you know what I'm saying? He a baby. They slob, they spit, and they do any, any and all things just like that. You feel what I'm saying? So for anybody to sit up there and look at kids and call them ugly, and then what you look like? You hear me? What, 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 what you look like? Whatever this baby look like, shit, that's how God wanted them to look. He can't control it. We just who we are. You hear me? Every every child is beautiful to me, baby. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't stand. That's why you got these sick, twisted ass people out here, you know, going to jail for pedophilia and they, they hate themselves. They hurt others because they hate themselves. Hey, Miss Flowers. Yeah, baby, they get dirty. Girl, yeah, they gonna get dirty. Girl, we used to be outside on the porch with popsicles and sticky shit and everything else. But I don't let my kids, I don't let my kids um get on camera if they not camera ready. You know what I'm saying? Khalil can always get on because he always going to be ready. Because Granny work at home. So guess what? If he have a boo-boo, I'm right there to get it. If he had a pee-pee, I'm right there to get it. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all, that is why I don't put Klee Klee on here. Now, if somebody will sit up here and talk bad about kids, and then Kenya going out, for what? Why are you defending yourself? That Our babies are beautiful. Shame on dogs. Girl, it's a mess. Hey, Miss Goodwin. Can we see Kim? <laughs> Kimberly! They be doing the most. Life is too short. I see. Girl, that energy. I just don't want it. Oh me, boo boo. I just don't. I just don't. Y'all know Kalia's spoil. Kim. Girl. Y'all is pretty. Thank you, one mom. Yeah, I think we should have a day, you know, this week where we should just go outside the box. Just to give people compliments, you know. If you're not one of those people who do it, try it. Do y'all know that I can be off in a bad mood and have that evil spirit? And why I got these evil spirits on me for no reason? Just aggravated. Like, what? And somebody said, girl, y'all are pretty. Girl, your eyes pretty. Girl, I like that dress. And it, and it put a smile on my face. And here I am smiling all day. Sometimes people go through stuff, y'all. They just need a compliment. Come on. Kimberly! Do Kim hear me? Give me my soda. Tell Kim I'm calling her. Kim. Get any of that soda right there. Oh, she said, hold on one second. Excuse me. Yes, you can, but give me that. Um, Give me that. Yeah, give me my soda. And close the door. Hey, Kawiko. Mm. Somebody just wants to see a haircut. You don't want to show it? It's beautiful. They say, ask Kim, can we please see her? Hey, y'all, kids, go in there. Go in there, grown people time. Come on. Three people want to see your hair. They said, come on, Kim. Well, when you get a thousand people in your chat, they can see one. How many you got right now? We not on Easy World. No, I'm on, um, yeah. Mm. Let us see, Kim. <laughs> they say let them have a little peek. Okay, close it up. She said give her one second, child. Okay, she finna go get some unapologetic. That is your, what is your IG? It's Niecy Davis. I like it. 
She got it all whacked off, y'all. She do, she do, she do. But I, I meant what I just said. I challenge y'all to come outside y'all shells and give people compliments. You know what I'm saying? If you got somebody in your life and you got things going on with them, I challenge y'all to just say, you know what, I'm good. If it ain't nothing but a text message, release that negative energy. You know what I'm saying? I was mad at Kim about something. I even forgot what I was mad. Okay, it's right. I requested to follow you. Okay. Mm. I sent you a new one. Okay. Right. I love watching these series. Really true down to earth. Thank you. Did you see my comment? Yes. This hurt finna get on my nerves, y'all. Okay. Well, hold on. We used to have fun with Kim. Girl, you know what? I was looking at, um, I was on Nisi World, and I was looking at some old videos, and I think I was just, I was telling a friend how I missed that good energy that we had in the beginning before everybody was beefing and, you know, um, before all the drama came along, when everything was peaceful and quiet. You know what I'm saying? When we can do stuff like have challenges. No, Queen, you just not get no soda pop. Nisi, you have you and Shy have never watched the movie Players Club. I seen the Players Club. The Uncut Virgin, that's why. You think it's another players club? Stop clear. You said me and Shy. Anyways, y'all, I'ma do it too. I'ma do it myself. <laughs> I miss you too, but these YouTube <laughs> Baby, I, I I I don't got nothing to say about them YouTube streets, you hear me? Everybody be doing them. Everybody just do you. If you feel like you wanna be a YouTuber, just know some stuff gonna come with it. Now let me tell you, if it was true, then it would bother me. I know you don't allow us to be bothered, you see. I know on the weekends, now I be trying to do spend time with my kids. You know what I'm saying? I, I be trying to have my little kids time with the bingo and stuff like that. And then I'm I'm still kind of funny about putting my kids on there so much. I let them dip in and dip out. But if y'all see, I'm, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video and put it on Easy World. All of this stuff that I got for my kids. Like, y'all just, I know I got, I bit off more than I could chew. You know who this is. You forgot about me. Pretty cakes. I can never forget about you, baby. I can never forget about you. I think I bit off more than I could chew with all of these games and family fun. And baby, these kids be like, girl, I told you I would never. I try all the time. How's Robert? Robert? Who is Robert? Stop. Yeah, I bit off all I, you know, more than I could chew. Y'all, I went and got all these games. I got the bingo. I got the kids Uno. I got the pizza. Um. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I have lupus and. I'm going to have you all will keep you in my prayers, honey. I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. That's what Busy is dealing with, too. Lupa, she said it hurts her body. She said that she always in pain. Please show some love. Thank you, Genovia. Yeah, I'm sorry what you did. I don't lost family members from Lupus. But um, I'm going to keep you in my prayers, sweetheart. I will. I sure will. That is a name. Friday night live. Is that the name from the Friday Night Live you did a long time ago? Is what the name of it? I'm trying to. Okay, Saucy, what's the name of it? The one that I'm talking about that we did, we was doing a, um, 
a Frito pie challenge. You know what I'm saying? And Kenya was making a Frito pie. It was everybody, girl. It was uh, Liz, Retta, Jay, BB. It was, everybody was there. And we was like, oh, you know, vibing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, I miss. That's what I love. That's what I like. You know, it wasn't just too much negativity. Or maybe it was, but I didn't know nothing about it. So if you wasn't here while ago and you're here now, I'm like, you know, thank y'all for not coming to me with that. Thank y'all for not putting it in my ear, putting it in my... Because some shit I just don't give a damn about. You know what I'm saying? It can't bother you if you don't know. And I just challenge y'all to do that. Give If you see somebody, you know what I'm saying, and they look like they need help, if you got a free hand, help them. I'm always... I told you I'm the lady who always giving a dollar to somebody on the street. I think she's talking about chores. <laughs> Girl, Charles is around, honey. My mom is cancer free. Thank you. It was a rough six months. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for that. You hear me? Nisi, what happened to your mom from Louisiana? I forgot her name. Jay. You talking about Jay? What happened to her? I'm sure Jay is still around. YouTube is not for everybody. You hear me? Like, um, I can't say it's not for her. I just know that she took a lot of stuff personal, you know. She did. Uh, everybody can't be this shit that, like, what's going on right now. Everybody can't deal with all the rumors, the drama, the assumptions, and putting people down, you know. I miss her, too. You know what I'm saying? She got, that girl was a hardworking girl. You hear me? She worked two jobs. She barely had time for herself, but she made time for nieces were So, kudos to her. I will forever thank her for what she did, you know. And that was the same thing even with Retta. You know, she did uh, show me how to, she showed me how. I didn't even know what a mod was until, you know, she told me what YouTube had to offer. I just came in not knowing anything. So I hate that things end up going the way they end up going because I had a lot of respect for her. You know, she was really good people. Some y'all, y'all, we need to also know this. Some people are in your life for a reason, and some people are in your life for a season. And Lakeside and disappeared. I talked to Lakeside this weekend. Yeah, some people in your life for a reason, some people in your life for a season. But at the end of the day, it's like if you know that you're not a humble person, if you know that you got you know, hate in your heart. If you know that you hard to get along with, if you accept who you are as a person and you're not a people person and you content with that, then it's okay. Those are the people who say, I'm loners. I don't deal with nobody. I don't. But if you got it in your heart to be humble, if you got it in your heart to be loving, if you got it in your heart to be, you know, a better person, then start today. You know, start loving yourself and loving others because when you let love in your life, you will grow and sprout like a flower. People love people who love them. You know what I'm saying? I love love. You know, I do. I love family. I love security. I love bonding. I love that. I just wish that more people would accept love, accept positivity. You know, why do people just sit up just cold, mean-hearted, just hateful and evil? That's great to hear. The area continue, please. I know. I know. Some people just raised to be bitter, y'all. You know that? Some people just raised from... Some people don't have... Like, I heard that I'm supposed to be incest because um, I kiss my sisters, my brothers, my son. I, I heard I'm incest. I'm glad I came from a home with hugs and kisses. And I see that. I see other people, you know, who don't get that and who never got that. And it's not cute for me. Even kids, you know, everybody don't got the same bun with their parents as others. And maybe those hurt people are the ones that hurt people. Y'all, you gonna have to find y'all some time to meditate and just get it off. Ain't that's what it takes, true? Meditation. Right. 
Shit, if, if what we got to do, get on here. Do we got to get on here once a week, twice a week, and let's get it off our chest? What we going through? We all imperfect. You want to talk about it? Don't nobody know who you are. You want to get on here and see what, what we got to offer each other as women? You know, what can we say to motivate each other? Y'all want to do it? Because I'm most definitely down for it. I'm sure what? It's 163 people in here. Out of 163 people, I'm sure we all done been through some shit. Absolutely, any more of that in this world. You hear me? Yes. Yeah, if, if we can link in together and motivate each other, all the hate and the negativity. I'm down. I got a lot to say. Okay, Cali girl, we will. We will. I will most definitely dedicate myself to motivation, to uplifting, to inspiring. You know, and what I don't know and I haven't been through, I'm sure somebody else will. Yes, relax, relate, release. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Look, my baby was sleepy. I would leave people real, Gemma. I'm here for it. Well, I'm going to pick a day and I will go live. Maybe if I could put the, um, maybe if I could put the, uh, you down true? Maybe if I could put if y'all if y'all want that, give me the thumbs up and we can most definitely do it. That's why I'm here, Nisi. I already Brian, thank you. You know, maybe we can inspire each other. It start within you, right? It start within yourself. If y'all here for it, the Eric's. Okay. Maybe I can try to tell Shy to put the live screen on my computer, Tina. And um, we can do that stream yard. And we can talk about these things, Brian. Okay, y'all. That's good. We'll do it over here on Unapologetic, too. That's what this channel here for. Meditation is different thing. For different people, for some. It's for some, it's sitting in silence. For me, it's sitting in silence. Well, I pray, too. <clears throat> I do them both. Because I do not have my life. I just think that different people believe in different things. And I had told y'all, if y'all didn't see on Nisi World, I had told y'all when I meditate, I get my candles, I get my um my Florida water. Good. Yes, y'all. Do a group study will be good. We can we can most definitely do it. And I can do it if y'all wanna come on and talk, we can uh do it. I see if I can put the stream yard. When will you and your sister do a seafood boil? When will we do a seafood boil? Which sister? Thank you, Nisi. I appreciate it. Absolutely, Brian. Yeah, when I meditate, I get my Florida water. And um, I wipe my feet, you know. I splash. I get my Bible, too. God bless everyone in here in your families with me. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Yeah. And um, I kind of just thank God. I just kind of ask him to give me the word. I just close my eyes and wherever his words send me, that's what I read. And whatever it is, I continue to repeat it. Whatever hit me, I just can repeat it and repeat it. And I did. I sit in silence. You know, I just listen for whatever he got for me at that time. Meditation is so good, y'all. It'll take that bitterness away. I'm not going to stop doing nothing differently that I usually do because of somebody else. You hear me? To each his own. So whatever you're doing that makes you happy, continue to do you and what makes you happy. You know, I will pick a day out the week, and we will do the lives. Or I will pull up the stream yard, and we can talk about it. You know, whatever it is, however y'all want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's been an hour almost. I wasn't going to hold y'all too long, y'all. I just wanted to share with y'all how I was feeling about the negativeness and the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Do a seafood boil with Kim. Kimberly! Affirmation. Things into existence. Yes, 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 yes. 
Be blessed and saved. Kim! Shamil, I'm gonna make some of that damn butter. You hear me? Great love, babe. Good night, everyone. Good night, child. Kimberly! You're all welcome. I'm praying for peace and compassion. Thank you. Thank y'all for the positive energy, the positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? I highly appreciate all of that. That girl heard me calling her. I know she lying. I ain't going to keep calling her. But um, I will try to get in and see if she want to do the seafood boy type thing. I can eat plenty of seafood, girl. That's one thing I can do. Kim do not want to come out. Kim! She said she was finna start her own channel, so maybe I'll get to see more of her on hers. So good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Um, maybe if y'all on my if you're not on my Instagram, then follow me on my Instagram. Um I, if you don't really got no posts, I probably probably won't, you know. It's just people who get on there and get your pictures and do other stuff with your pictures. Like I said, it's some cruel, immature bitches out there. And I don't know, I, I think that, like I said, I think that shit is illegal, but it's crazy. But good night, y'all. I'll see y'all on the other side. My IG is Nisi Davis.